It vibrated. Episode yeah, 56. Nice. Can you hear us? Yes. All right. Tip, yeah, speak up, nigga. Vibration. Welcome to the 1420 what up? TV podcast. Here, I'll move it towards you. Got the host right here. Hey, Chase about to say. Chase. It's him and his friends. It is me and my friends. Welcome to yeah. the it's Fresh me, Cap it's Podcast, it's episode it's four. Huh? You here with your boy? It's fantastic, like the Fantastic Four, and this is episode four. How y'all doing? Kevin, how you doing, bro? Me and I'm doing fantastic, guys. Chase trying to be Pleasure P, bro. Pleasure P. Yeah. He was over Pretty Ricky, bro. He was what? He was over Pretty Pretty Ricky. I'm just saying. Who's over Pretty Ricky? Pleasure P. Oh, your boy D. You feel me? Chat. I literally said it's me. I introduced myself and I said it's me and my friends. Then y'all introduce yourself. It's your boy Diesel. And I'm here with the 1423 TV podcast. And then if we had a guest, I'd like say we'll have a special guest. Do we have a guest yet? We have a special <coughs> guest, Chase Anderson. Introduce yourself here. Tell him, Brooklyn. And that's Chase Anderson, everybody. Tell him, Brooklyn. <coughs> so we're back with way. another episode. Hey, bro, I'm showing Chase the, the beat that J. Cole made for Jay Z. <coughs> oh, that's just bad. <laughs> You showed him the beat? Yeah. That beat's fucking horrible. Tell them Brooklyn's on the way. way. Tell them. Fucking weak ass sound. Bro, you should have killed that dude. Oh, man. That's why Jay Z dissed him a couple <laughs> years after that. Anyway, how, how you are doing? You how are y'all doing? It's the four fantastic yeah. niggas on episode four of the Fresh Cap Cap Podcasts. 1423 TV Podcast. Episode four. No. Take away the 23 and the one. 56. Anyway, getting into the topics here. Fellas, tell me, how are you doing? I am doing... Extravagant. Were you... Shaquille, I'm gonna have to ask you to let him finish. Go ahead, Tevin. Shaq has had to be sharp or something. Shaq, his... His full name is Shaq Gnosis. Tevin, how are you? Diesel now, alright? Hey, I am... What's the problem just now? Saying my government, my full government name. Did you... Say his I didn't say your last name, Fluellen. <laughs> Not even your middle name, Gerald. Yeah, <laughs> Jack, Gerald Fluellen. Bro, can we talk Gerald. about how you LeBron's middle name is Raymond? Name nah. Yes. Bro, LeBron's middle Bucci, name is R A Y M O N E. Raymond James. LeBron Raymond James. Yeah, that nigga mom was on crack. I mean, that's why she let Delonte West fuck. Boy, she let that nigga Lamborghini smash to mm. the <laughs> Hey, I don't, I don't blame her on that one. <laughs> nah, no, that nigga Lamborghini, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm, yes, sir. Chase, I how are you? The exhaust pipes in I'm all right. Wow. Tough. Shaq? Oh, you already said you was fantastic. Like the four, because this is, in fact, episode four. Anyway, first topic. Is Chase episode a fag? 56. Yes. Moving on. Next, <laughs> the Boondocks confirm coming back with Aaron Magruder returning. See, now we talking. First first time we brought up the subject, didn't have much to say because we didn't know if Aaron was coming back. But now, I'm excited. I just don't want, uh, just, you know, uh, I guess the society we're in now, I hope it don't get, like, uh, a lot of, like, you know, really backlash and safe. try to cancel it and stuff. No, no, no. Aaron's not going to be safe at all. I'm not worried about day writing. I'm just worried about how people react to it. So, that's it. Do you feel like if they're too sensitive, they shouldn't watch this? Uh, but people, yes. people, they like to be mad at shit now. Like, they just want to be mad at shit. So, they're going to watch shit just to be mad at it. Like, it's just how it is, bro. Niggas got so much energy. They, tomorrow, they'll be mad about something else. They'll be mad about something else the next day. It's just how life goes with these fuckers. Huh? I'm about to say, oh, bring the, closer to you. oh, bring the mic closer. My <coughs> bad. So, yeah. So, I just feel like, um, I just want, you know... Aaron to stay with his formula, even though I know he's been writing. Like I think he put out how many strips he uh, scripts he put out within his little. Um, only a few. Only a few, right? He just recently came back. Yeah, so I don't know if he's gonna start off with what he started off working with and just build on that. But I know it's gonna be more like current events and shit like that. So it's gonna be dope. Only thing I wish, but I know they put a lot of work in the animation, so it's gonna be behind. Like you know, like probably not a year, but like. Eight months behind on current events because you know how South Park they make an episode every week and they make it in like a week, so it be current. So it gotta be they got the episode gotta be done by Wednesday before air. I know that it's way more animation than Tabuna. I just wish that it could be like right on point with like everything that's happening because so much shit happens. 
I, don't I know. disagree. I just, no, I'm just no, no, no. I I know I could feel like you know how shit can happen, but I'm just like, damn. I just wish we can have shit. Even though he might still have put up the comic book, so we can still feel what he's talking about in the in the uh, episodes that'll be coming, mm. like the next season or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like I wish I it could think, be really current. I think that was one of the main downfalls of the show. What? Well, I mean, obviously he left, so the writing style changed. Mm-hmm. But you can't hear me. No, I can. It's it's little. Nigga, you're little. Anyway, like I was saying, yeah, they try like appealing to like people's current event shit too much. That's how we got fucking garbage ass episodes like Pretty Boy Flizzy and a Breaking no, no, Bad no, no, no. parody. That's just trash. I think they should stick with what he was doing, which was talking about things that were happening in the cultural consciousness, but not trying to like just Preach. lampoon the things that are coming. Like the R. Kelly thing. That was a great episode because it was like coming to a head at the time the show came, but it had been going on for years, so it was able to like pervade the cultural consciousness. No, you know what I mean, I'm I'm saying the same thing you saying, but I'm not saying like uh, it's Aaron Magruder doing this though. It's not the people that did the what's that the fifth season, fourth. That shit's trash. I mean, they, we can even see there's some flaws in the second and third season though compared to the first not second not second third has third. a little bit of flaws second was fucking like it went I perfect I think the first is better than the second uh, I think second is better than I the think first. second is best first it has a more serious tone second ups it with the comedy yeah and it still had those like it have those conscious moments like, I, I just feel like he used that's how he used like Huey for like for the, the fucking conscious shit and he got split Riley for like the fucking nigga shit like yeah. you, it's like the ratchets and consciousness shit you gotta have like it's good yin and yang. The, yeah you gotta have that shit so I feel like now him coming back like you gonna have him touching on current events but I know he's gonna have like those different meanings to it and like you know what I mean it's gonna be thought provoking bro like and it's gonna be funny as shit and I'm excited for it and it's something if it's down I will be let down for this cause I am a huge fan of Boone I've been watching since I was a kid so it's like I, this would be something I'd be like, damn, I'm let down. And I y'all I said it here. I'd be let down. I have high expectations. Wow. Um Aaron Magruder, I have got some yeah. high expectations. I love Aaron. I, I love Boondock, bro. I have one note. Uh please release the Blu-ray for season one and two. I don't care for three or four. Thank you. Bro, just get it on VCR. Nigga, what? Check. You're off the what podcast. VCR. He just told me to buy it on VCR. <laughs> that's like obviously VCR. a joke, man. Shut your ass. No, but that's because Shaq. I saw well, Shaq. I saw your house Shaq, the other Shaq, day. You I have a VCR TV connected together, hey. like you know the TV that comes with the VCR. Yeah, that's what Shaq. And he got. bought hey, the listen, DVD listen. slide. No, it's he all, didn't even come with a DVD. It's, it's all, all for nostalgia. All right, it's all Maybe for nostalgia. nostalgia. I like the nostalgic. You know, Shaq paints his VHS as yellow. I mean, orange, so it could be like Nickelodeon's. But really, he taped it on a blank VHS. How'd you know? Bro? All right, bro, you you dragged it, bro. I'm sorry. Let's let's move on for <laughs> this Thanks, nigga, bro. Big Killer Jones over here. Mm. All right, Call me thoughts big killer. on this right. tweet that I sent? Oh, it was when a uh, young thug said, "Fuck me, daddy." That shit is Somebody crazy. says sus, but you still the go. That's Supreme Patty. And then he yeah. said, "Don't get tortured, bitch." I don't get that part. <laughs> I want to know what he think. Like, was he being meant. nasty or like was he like uh, threatening him? Maybe he was saying I ain't gay. That's what I got from it. I don't. Well, he said, "Don't get tortured." So is he Bro, threatening him old, or like? Nah, he's dead ass flirting. Him. He's oh, threatening okay. him. Like, I will fuck you up, nigga. Don't chill. Like I don't like Supreme Patty, bro. Who is Supreme Patty? That that white that nigga guy, with the Supreme hat with the what's, pimples. I'm about to say what's like a fucking slice of pizza. Oh, that loser dude. What's the, yeah. what's the word for white people when they when they, you know how black people coon? What's the white people word for that? Shit, they coons too. They just dumbass white coons. Wounds? Coons. Not wounds. Not wounds. No, they coons, bro. They Come just, up with some Shaq. What do you call that? White people cooning. I just call them idiots. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah white yeah. white people can't coon. They just doing they white That's, trash. They just being themselves. They just doing fuck shit, bro. Let's <laughs> just, let's do Supreme nah, that's what, this it's just white trash, bro. This nigga literally, all, look, how do you get famous off of number one, just pour, like pouring lemon in your eyes, shit like that? Wait, what? That's the shit he does, bro. Like he just pours lemons in his eyes. That's all. This, that's the only shit. I oh, do. y'all talking about the Supreme guy? Yeah, oh, yeah. bro. I've seen some of his Not videos, a, like on Snapchat and all that. Trash. He he was also selling Chase jewelry for him. free, but for the 
you know, you have to pay for selling jewelry for free. Chase follows but me, But he, bro. all you do is pay the shipping. I'm pretty sure it was fake jewelry. And it's probably like I saw someone on YouTube buy. No, see, that's the thing. It was. Do you I buy saw, it? No. Is that what you're wearing around your neck right now? Hey, I'm looking a little bit like Shrek right now. Mm. Yeah, bro. Yeah, me? Let me get that checked out. Right. And Jorge's my donkey. Alright, bro. What? what in the fuck? <laughs> That's racist? No. First I just say I'm Because I'm like black, shit. I'm a donkey, bro? What's up? No, you're just an idiot, so you're a donkey. <laughs> Nigga, I'll fucking show you a dick, a donkey. Oh. Whoa! Don't get, don't get tortured. <laughs> don't get tortured, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Anyways, on oh, yeah, topic, thoughts? Bro, that picture is fucking gay as shit, bro. I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, I don't Shaq, I, you can't say that during Pride Month, bro. Sorry. I yeah. can't say it. Respect the gays, bro. Yeah, yeah. Respect who are his people, girl. dog. Stop. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you What do y'all think of that? Uh, the second tweet I put in there. He didn't say nothing. The white girl running up to the camera and fucking putting her vagina on it. Nah, I didn't see did that. Y'all ain't seen that. Hold on, brothers. I brothers? took that all out of my own notes. <laughs> I made my own separate notes. Brothers? Does she look good? Tevin? No. Yeah, this just look nasty. You know them little videos where the people were running up to the camera and they show their butthole? Yo. What <laughs> hey, here you go, Chase. I mean, Shaq. No, this is somebody edited that part. That's the that's the trailer for Death Stranding. You saw it? <laughs> you see, you saw that. You see what happened when we put this when we give him rights to the notes? You saw that cooter, <laughs> baby? <laughs> hey. Jorge, are you gonna show them the DM that you sent her? No. Also, shut up, bro. <laughs> Tell a bit. Oh, what did y'all did y'all see that video of the dog and the baby? Yes. I actually want y'all thoughts. Shaq and Tevin? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, are you, do you, do you have to get rid of your dog after hey, that? Yeah, my dog, you know. Hey, you know the dark side of YouTube? He be on the dark oh, side Oh, yeah, I put Twitter. that in. I don't even go on YouTube. That's Shaq. No, I said you be on the dark side of Twitter. Bro, you showed me this video. No, I didn't. Now I'm playing, but Kane showed it to me, so. Yeah, you and Kane. Hey, shout out to that boy, Ruby Kane. Nah, the they dark, Twitch. but they be, they light-skinned niggas, but they be on some dark shit when it come to Twitter, bro. Yeah, I'm light-skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. Yeah, I'm light-skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. A dick sipper. I don't know. Bro, what nigga, they I didn't save it. I put it in the notes because I wanted to get y'all... Like if that happened nah, to you, and now Shaq, he put a notes that way he knew what episode. Bro, we had a whole <laughs> argument, or not argument, I discussion this. about it. <laughs> Chase trying to act cool in front of his friends yeah. now. What's up about what? Nah, I don't care. Let's move about on. What? <laughs> uh, oh, OJ Simpson is on Twitter. Hell, y'all follow him. Go, <laughs> bro. OJ Simpson, go. Did you see his video about Chloe? Yeah. Did you see his other video where he was like, for years, y'all niggas have been talking that shit. <laughs> Now I'm, now I'm no, here. He say, see, he I'm said, here. He said it like that. I'm thinking OJ about to say it like that. No, he just said it calm. Nigga, he did, was not calm. Bro, OJ have you won't, ever? OJ want the smoke. Man. Have you ever heard OJ say? Why is he not verified yet, bro? I don't know. Hold on. Hey, no, OJ. You saw the fake account though. Like, I can't believe you. Know, for years, people have been able to say whatever they want to say about me with no accountability. Is over. Now, I get to a lot of that now it's over. <laughs> OJ's gonna kill all of you, bro. His head is fucking huge. Mm. Don't you know that Jorge <laughs> said that, and he holds all accountability for that. Hey, OJ, you my guy. I always said you was innocent. I still think you are. It was your son, that dirty ass thing. I don't think his son did it. or he did it. Fucking mobsters. Yeah. Hey, nigga, why did the mobsters kill his wife for being a whore? I want y'all to know the 1422 TV podcast does not support these. No, but the Fresh Cat podcast does. All right, let me tell y'all. Hold up. This is my little thing. All right. So, Nicole and that fucking that waiter, right? This nigga drove a BMW. Oh, Ronald Goldman? Ronald. All right, he worked at the, uh, the Mar what's called the, Bar the Maraluna, like, hotel. It was like, a, it's where a lot of mobsters hung out. So, Tell me why two of his friends that worked there already got blew up in the car. One of, them, one of them got blew up, one of them got killed. So I feel like they was just mixed up in some shit. And who gonna wear some bar with, some some what they call bargla muglies, whatever them fucking shoes called? Fucking Italian monster yeah, shoes. They going in on this thing. O who? <laughs> on who? On who? OJ? This nigga right here. Hey, I said, go fuck yourself, OJ. OJ what didn't do it. Say? He really killed it that year. <laughs> OJ didn't do it, bro. Fuck I know, bro. OJ's innocent, bro. He didn't do it. He, he too was, fucking stupid. He was he set is. up. Hey, your thoughts are high. Who? The glove don't fit. You must acquit. Then they try to... 
OJ had arthritis. <laughs> Nigga, he had arthritis. Innocent. Moving on. Hey. New Drake music. Shaq as the resident Drake stand. Thoughts? Uh, I fuck with the old murder shit. I Nigga, you better. You were nowhere near oh, a mic man, right now. I ain't listening to the one with Rick Ross, you but I right here. I did hear that old murder track. Heat. Now I want to know why my nigga Chase said it was it wasn't all that. It wasn't. You don't Heaven, think so? What'd you think of old murder? I, I like the song. Why, I, didn't, why I only like think... the one with Rick Ross. Old murder. The other one seemed too lazy. Yeah, it was. It's I, probably a Drake song I like in like a year or something. But for now, I was like, get this. I feel like his uh, was it the scary hours uh, two song EP was better than this one. No, nah, that's just, yeah, the one uh, with diplomatic one with God, community. Yeah, and God's plan. Right, that right. was a better EP. Yeah, than the, this well, one. those are both good songs. Exactly. These two would sound like throwaways that he had in the tuck. He's like, I can Ow. release, I can release this either when they win or I can just release this whenever. Either Ow. way, I'm just releasing it. What? Oh yeah, he definitely had them songs like waiting. Yeah. yeah what right. do y'all think about him replying to Pusha T though, saying niggas only got hot because they told on me? Facts. Instead of you know that nigga. Hey, Pusha was all, he was nigga, up there a little bit. Bro, that nigga ate him up. He, de- he definitely got a spike from that though. He ate him up. Let's be real, bro. He ate him up. How did he get a spot from that? He got a spike. All the hip hop like heads who think he. Think he's a legend? They still think they would have thought that anyway. We consider Pusha T a legend. He's hell no. Nigga, huh? Talk to these niggas, <laughs> bro. Nigga, the clip. The, what's that? What's yes. wrong with you, Wait, dog? Wait, are y'all considering him a legend as in like how we consider like a group a legend? What do you mean a group? Every group not legend. Nigga, if a legendary group, every me and Chase was talking about this the other day because I said Bushwick Bill was a legend. Yeah, Bushwick Bill. Was no, and I said, I said, are you considering him a legend on his own or a legend just inside the group itself? In the group, because they're all they're, legends. You're a legend, you're a legend. You established. But I mean, Pusha T's Nick, also. If Bun be alone without UGK, is he a legend? No. Go. No, he's not a legend if it's not from UGK. If it's not from that. Uh, yes. He, I think Pusha T's a legend outside of Clips. Yeah, but his. Pusha T yeah, that's why I'm because he has some classic diss tracks. Fucking no, no, I'm just saying, but, but Clips brought us into. He's it. talking about Pusha. Yeah. No, but Clips yeah. brought us into it. You said Pusha, what? But see, the thing about when you bring the Bum B thing in there, because I mean, that's he was not as one of the top five rappers in Houston at the time. I think. Huh? What it has to Nigga, be? Who cares about no, Houston? Y'all talking about his legendary? Nobody so really care about bullshit ass Houston. Like, Fucking Sugarland. Shut up. We talking Fucking about Cypress as a as a, uh, a uh, hip hop. I agree with Tevin that yeah, Bun is a legend in UGK. He's a Outside legend of, now. Established. I'm saying picture if Bun B like if Bun B wasn't in UGK, like you know that brought you. Yeah, like if Big yeah. Boy wasn't an outcast, is he, he a legend? Yeah, like you don't. That's what I'm saying. Like he has a he has a better legendary status as a group. Like you get what I'm saying because no, nah, Push T's a legend by himself. No, I'm not talking about Pusha T. I was talking about the big boy. You just talked about because because like, big boy don't have no great album to me. Like like big boy did nothing like outside of his solo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But still, he's a legend because what he did. Can he deter his legendary status if he comes? No, out how could something you know once you legend? You know who's not a legend? Killer Mike. No, nah, he's not. He's not a legend. Why did you bring that up? Just wanted to make fun of him. Anyway, he just like, he just like, likes to doubt all the rappers. I like. You can, you can. No, but I'm not considering him Killer Mike a legend. But. No, I know that. I'm just saying. But once you were legendary in the game, like, how could you take away your legendary status? You, you can't. Already, you can't. You already, yeah, so R. Kelly was out here fucking. If you, if you, what you mean, legend? You mean like living legend? Yeah. It's like Kendrick, Drake, Pusha T, Kanye, it's a lot. Wayne, J. Cole, Wayne, Wayne yeah, Birdman. So you could be a legend with oh, <laughs> fucking verb, man. Wait, what? Get that shit out of here. He's a legendary like rap uh label nigga. He's I'll not a that. So like Master P. I mean he does have some Facts, bars man. though. Like I fuck with niggas too. Come on now. Hey, so, I'd rather listen to Master P than Birdman though. Yeah, it's like in people oh, I'd rather li- I'd rather not have ears. Yeah. Master P that has trash. he's trash, but le- he's the not Birdman legendary for his he's not legendary for his music. He listens there just from what Bird he put into the hip hop, being, being independent and being like what he pushed and like owning your own masters, owning this shit, have you do everything, have your own money and like you know what I mean, fucking believe in yourself, like and pushing like when you hot nigga, put music out. Like he had the fucking like they had like five or six albums like on on the on the Billboard charts at once, like on one label they eating. So it's just like stuff like that make you legendary, not not just you know 
you rapping or being a part. So Bow Wow, yeah, Bow Wow's a legend. Bow I honestly, Wow, I honestly did not expect you to say that. Hundred percent, Bow Wow's a fucking legend. Hundred percent, I did not expect him to say that. Bro, it's a lot of niggas out here who haven't done much that are it's Fifty like, Cent legend, Soldier Boy, legend, yeah, Drake. Legend. Drake, yeah, nigga, Drake, Drake's duh. A legend, like. He's the most popular, like not. Popular. Okay, so what makes someone like a uh, Kendrick or a J Cole like a legend? Okay. Effect on the culture, Kendrick. classic albums. I mean, that's really just those. Okay, so then who's in that top five of rappers? Respected now? by all their peers. You talking about who's the top five of a Drake, Kendrick? What you mean? Like who's like Drake, Kendrick, Cole? Who's the other two that we consider living legends right now? Well, they're they're not, it's not. They're, they're all not. alive still. Jay Z still alive. No, but he's talking about the current rappers. I oh, I think we just got three. You think? Yeah. There's, three. You don't think there's no top five? We got no, because who yeah. else would it be? That's why I'm asking. Travis ain't no legend. Yeah, he ain't no legend. Rocky ain't no legend. Nah. Uh, Logic is a homosexual. Uh, we just got a big three. We don't have no. Five. Oh, actually, Tevin said that West Side Gun is a legend. Nah. Uh, it's a big I, blind I, tail, bro? Oh, we it's was talking shit, about that the other day too. I forgot what we was talking about it for. Talking shit. <laughs> oh, because we were saying. Oh, said Eminem. No, because I said Eminem. Because one of his albums, I forgot what we was talking about. What's I gun about? But I wanted to ask you. Mm. But I forgot what we was talking about. But he was talking about how like no one knew what's I gun into. Like, oh yeah. I forgot what we was talking about that made us bring that topic. Because he was saying, is he like popular with hip hop heads? I was like, I don't, I don't think so. I, Cause we was talking about somebody else that they popular with hip hop is, but not nobody else. I forgot who it was it. Oh, we was talking about Freddie. I, Freddie think. Jesus, I feel like you guys. Oh, cause I what? said Freddie I said Jesus that West Side I said West Side Gun is a niche artist, yeah, and man. that Freddie yeah. isn't cause like all hip hop heads like Freddie. I can tell you this. I feel like hip hop heads is like split. You got it like two sides of hip hop heads. You got like you got the the hip hop heads that fucking has the mixture of like the underground and the mainstream. And plus, you got the hip hop heads that know a little bit on the ground, but like majority, like they keep up with like everything. It's like it don't have to be super popular, but it's like okay, it's known. They know the Jonah the Lucas, the Logics, the everybody else that's really into hip hop. Like me, I'm 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 more of the like I listen to little niche shit, like crazy shit. Like I listen to Milo. You ever listen to Milo? Like I I listen to a lot of underground shit. You know, they probably nobody ever listens to like uh, Billy Woods and all this type of people, bro. Like sadistic. Sadistic, just different people. So, so it's like, so with each of these rappers, these rappers in the top three, we consider we consider them legends. We have Drake, who has a bunch of sales. We have Kendrick. He has a lot of sales too. Yeah, all these all, all J Cole got a lot of sales. All these too. artists have sales. What exactly makes Cole like? Because Kendrick with each album, you never say, oh, that album's bad, that album's yeah. bad. But look. But with Drake, you be like, okay, that album's bad, that album's bad. With Cole, that album doesn't hit. This isn't co- nothing compared to this mixtape. Like, what do we consider these artists as legendary for? Well, What do y'all consider them legendary Drake for? Drake is legendary for the hits. Like, no one's been a hit-making machine like him. And then he used to be, like, when he came out, he was he was a freaking innovator. Like, he started his own genre of music, basically. Like, he was influential. You know what I mean? Yeah, once, once you have... In a some, negative way, yeah. you know, still. But he still changed the game. Like, when you have somebody like Steph Curry, like, in the NBA... Will we, like, young, will we put Young Thug in this? Young no. Thug got a lot of clones, but I feel like Young Thug... Did you say yes? No. He said no, but he's I... He's an Atlanta legend. I mean, for them. No, but I feel like in the, the, the people under us, like, they love... Young Thug, like niggas fuck with Thug. I yeah, feel like too. Thug, he I has a lot of clones at the moment. But I feel like if he would have reached that that level, I thought he was gonna be. I thought Thug was gonna be like that nigga. Not just what happened. That probably just, I don't know what happened, bro. I don't, I don't feel know. like he really went down either. No, it's not like he went down. It's just like he stayed. He down. had a he had a single, but he didn't really have singles after that. That's why, because yeah. all the EPs and albums he came out with didn't really have hit singles. You know how like tra- one of his big songs came from a Vine meme. That best friend thing or whatever, yeah. and then you got about the money where he was with Ti, and then mm-hmm. you got a uh, the check. whole 20, 20, what, 2014? Oh, and when 20, he was with Rich Homie Kwan, yeah. it's like right after he hit with Rich Homie Kwan, his his mute like his numbers really didn't seem like yeah. his fan base or his numbers to the. Bro, he had like three years of straight greatness, bro. I'm talking about everything was doing good, bro. Yeah, I think I from like our high school to some of our college years. I don't know. It's just some artists yeah, like that, but I feel like Thug. He's a He's an innovator, bro. Like, even though he he a mixture of Lil Wayne, like just how he was rapping at first, but like he has his own little style. It's just I like the just because he was different and weird to me. I like y'all like this nigga. He a weird ass nigga. And uh, so now you got niggas that sounding like him and shit. 
Just, yeah, just how it is. So not, not I wouldn't even. So not all innovators can be considered legends. Well, when you make that innovative uh, think, statue, you could become a legend. It depends on how big. How could you change the game though? Like I feel like Young Thug, he has his innovation, but he didn't change the game. Like Drake came out, he changed shit, bro. Like how many niggas was trying to sound like Drake? He was everywhere. It's just, just how it is. Like. Kanye was an innovator, but when he came out, he was, you know, he was traditional, like hip hop, but he was fucking, uh, he became mainstream, but he had soul samples. He brought that fucking old element into hip hop and Man, he was new. Even, so it's like, I feel like, even though, you know, Drake is influenced by Kanye, yeah. was influenced by Kanye, I think, like, everything Drake really done, Kanye kind of already did type shit. My bad. But not, yeah. Well, I mean, just like sing rapping. Sounds. But I'm talking about how the music sounds. Drake sounds, you know, he was like the melodic, he was melodic rapping, singing That's shit. That's fucking Kanye. No, Kanye wasn't doing it like Drake. He wasn't, though. yeah. He was yeah, Drake melodic, was. Uh, come on, you know Drake, nigga. Yeah. Everybody was searching for that sound. Like, nigga, I got to a point where I'm like, bro, this yeah, is all yeah, I want to listen to. The only one was Big Mo. The only one. Hey, yeah, you right. You said who? I said the only one was Big Mo. All right, Pete. Yeah, so is, there any, is there any? Y'all think y'all consider like okay. the melodic fucking? No, it went on no Drake shit. I got, like, I got a question. I got a question. Yeah, the, we're from you know we're from the state of Texas. Got a rap. Do y'all feel like there's any Houston innovators, rappers that are just, like rappers that were innovators? Nah, UGK. You look, bro. Fucking yep. Houston as a whole fucking uh, good, culture is like already. He's talking about influential on bro, the bro, whole they rap don't game. Get credit though, that's like I'm rapper. Doing. Like UGK, oh, UGK they yeah. influence. Yeah. All music, not just Texas music. Ghetto Boys storytelling was Scarface, basically. But, you know, the face, face models. Those are all, those are only two. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, oh, little just flip. In nah. I could oh. do that if I guess. Hey, man, you could. acting like a cartoon, like little flip on that cover of his album? Hey, that's a hard album cover. I don't know why Ti thought he could make fun no, of it. No, Freddie, Freddie said that <laughs> on his last on his last uh, single. Yeah, we talk about Ti. Has he ever had a good album cover? The answer is no. A good album cover? The trap music one is garbage. Same with uh the what's the other one? They come I always forget the name, but it came out right after. Trap music? There's Urban Legend. Urban Legend, that album cover sucks too. <laughs> Nigga got no good album covers. And he was talking about Lil Flip, the god who has two classic. Hey, but Lil Flip covers. Photoshop T.I. on top of something. T.I. actually had something on him. Yeah, he photoshopped him <laughs> on top of a cock, probably. Oh, oh okay. my God. So, <laughs> hip-hop duos that are super uneven. I don't get that. Oh, yeah. I was talking about, because uh, somebody was talking about how on Ross and Drake songs, Drake is always better. I was wondering if y'all, is there any other duos y'all can think of where, like, it seemed like one of them always outdoes the other one whenever they do a song? Like, for example, uh, this is not a good example, but, like, Young Thug and Gunna. There's no Young Thug and Gunna songs where I'm like, ooh, Gunna's better. So people, like people thought two was, rappers that aren't duo that aren't a group. They're not a group, but Wait, they do so songs think, together, and you always you think, think one Gunna, is better on. Like, so you didn't think Gunner was better on Lesbian? On uh, who? The Lesbian joint. No. He was good though. So basically, know. how about someone like, like, like the Hot Candy and Nipsey? Song. That's a good. Uh, oh, Nipsey and YG. They only have a few songs together. I'd rather put Dom Kennedy. I, don't, I can't. I don't, I well, Dom Kennedy is even like really a rap. <laughs> I think it's more like a trash. To be guy. honest with you, I, I can't compare those, like, cause they like they talk about the same shit. It ain't what? Like, it's like the nigga. You could do any artist. Uh, I don't know. I just like do Drake it. and Rick Ross. Mm. Anytime they do really a song together, a duo, Drake. They're not really a duo. Rick. Rick. Mm. That's not a duo, nigga. I'm talking about features that they have. They do. I see, who, I want to see if you would have said like Drake and Wayne. What? They're even. So, what do you think about Rick, uh, Lord knows? You think you don't think Rick Ross had the best verse? No. I don't oh, like which one? Oh, no. You said on Lord, hell no, that verse is garbage. You don't like it? He <laughs> should not. I like Rick Ross. He shouldn't be on that song. It Drake, wasn't worse than Birdman's little talking on. Uh, Did you like Drake? Before? You like Drake going through the bitch phone and shit? Oh, that part is weird. But after that, when he gets weird, man, when he gets to I'm mean, high right now. Nah, that's some creepy shit, low key. Things like I'm going through her phone while she's in the bathroom, you know, yeah, just like, in case she's creeping on me, and I'm like, but you're creeping on her. That's all right. Huh? Nothing. Now that will fucks you up though when you know you're doing wrong. You be like, man, my girl might be doing something. What are some hip hop yeah, duos? Man. Bro, you just any niggas that you like make when they make songs together. I can't. I can't think about. Man, it. you sorry. niggas are fucking bummed. Oh, Rocky and Ferg is one for me. 
Rocky be giving that nigga the business. Nah, because they're a group. Who? Oh, I mean, you can't do I a group. Like, gonna you have obviously. You could do a group, but is there any groups where like one person is always better on the song? Like, I guess you could do like what a Uzi, Uzi, Uzi do? They don't really do features like that. I mean, now, I mean, I mean, I mean, oh yeah, Uzi be he be three. putting his dick in Nav when they do songs together. No, they don't. Stop. Yes, he does. You listen to that Nav and uh, he do and Lil Key song. Nope, that shit's trash. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nav brought it up. That nigga Zach was telling me. Oh, that he don't get him out of here every hug. time, but Lil Baby some, and Gunna's kind of like songs, that. But nah, See, I was gonna say that, but they have an album together. So I yeah, but I don't. Nigga, I don't care. Do that. Well, I'm so, just saying most groups they don't have. Features, I'm yeah, saying Jorge, if Jorge Jorge like ride the wave by Lakeed, he probably like it already. I'll probably listen to that album in like a few days. We don't play that shit now. Wow, this is really just. Uh, what about J Cole and Jid? I don't listen to J. Jid's hard as fuck. Jid smokes J Cole. Oh, you could say like uh, Ski Mask and X. Y'all heard that? Y'all listen to the X? Nah, song. X got. That. X got ski mask out of here. Did you Craig Zan and the X song I sent? No. Yeah, did you send it on Apple the Music? Or did you send uh, it I sent it on Apple Music. Was it hard? I'm yeah, going through her phone when she go to the Craig bathroom. Zan. You like Craig Zan? He from Houston. I haven't really heard him like that. I heard yeah. of him. Oh, another one is like Young Thug and Travis. Travis. Really Anytime nice. they do a song together, Thug smokes that, man. Uh, no. Name one, bro. Mama Sita, Thug was way better. Yeah. Same, with way more time than, than Same with Skyfall. Kid Same Kid with a drum. Sky, my fault. Okay, so then what about like Tyler and Earl and stuff like that? If, Earl okay. Oh, yeah, Earl be, is, yeah, Earl be fucking smoking Tyler like he wishes he would. Uh, Schoolboy Q and Kendrick, maybe? Kendrick, nigga, come on, bro. No, Schoolboy Q and ASAP Rock. Oh, Kendrick and uh, J Rock? Oh, J Rock, he's a. Okay. Nah, <laughs> yeah, when has J Rock even. Come on, dog. Nah, he did Money Tree. Hey, oh, that's true. Yeah, Wait, Tree, Mustard that's and an YG. Easy one. Who has the better verses? Who? Who? YG and Mustard. Bro, chill, dog. <laughs> hey, back to this heat. <laughs> bro, turn that shit off right now. The podcast is over. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's just hard. hard, bro. Hey, time for that Black Excellence, my guy. Who the fuck is that nigga? Oh, yeah, Black Excellence this week. Clap it up from Masai Ujiri, the general manager of the Toronto Raptors. Nigga put together a team. A nigga put it? together a team that won a ring, and then he mushed a cop, yeah. got away with it, and was able to be back in town for his daughter's graduation. Fast. Yeah, like, I met a nigga in trouble with some shit. He nah, he that. he's in Canada now. They ain't doing yeah. shit to him. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Please don't let me do that again. <laughs> We're on to the music section of the podcast. This the is what music we talk section. About. This is what we talk about. Uh, duh, nigga. <laughs> what else were we talking about? Some dick, perhaps? I mean, that's what you like to talk about. Bro, that's not what you were saying you earlier. Was, yeah, I was saying, please stop. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Do your little like, thing with uh, your Danny Browns. Oh, yeah. Danny Browns debuting uh, his comedy talk show uh, called Danny's House on Viceland on July 17th. Yeah. It looks... It, I think it's the same people that produced uh, the Eric Andre show. Oh. I was watching the clip. I was watching the trailer. I might check it out. But I like Danny Brown, though, so... Nobody else. Uh, uh, okay. It's like I'm like I'm 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 crazy. Oh B Wu's talking. What are you into now? Like what you mean? Dude? Because I was like cause I was like cause we was talking earlier. Yeah. He was like, You watch way more anime than me. I said in, technically in total, I'm the least amount Yeah, I'm but least, I was I'm saying the person the least that you haven't watched your anime in like two years. Yeah, I'm like I'm like, wait, what yeah, has we so been doing? Sucking bro, dick. No. Crazy thing is, bro, I've been playing 2K and most. Oh, I got 2K now, B. I saw that. I was like, look at this. Hey, thing. when did that deal end? I don't know. 2K22. Uh, I said 22. 2K20 is going to come out, though. Except Shit, going to be trash. That's yeah, the only game he's buying. <laughs> but I'm still going to buy it, yeah. And, and Cyberpunk next year. So. Mm, that yeah. Cyberpunk is looking hard, that shit boy. Looking sexy, bro. Especially since so you could be trans. I can't wait to be the oh, real yeah, me in that game. Dick out. Get ready for Horita 2020. Ready for that T Girl porn? <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyways, nigga, we're supposed to be talking about music. I really been into just watch, like, I'll be watching. You know, I listen, I listen to a lot of podcasts lately. Ooh, like Bakugo and Jump Force. Oh my god! Chase, please, please stop! Excited. Please stop! I, I I listen to podcasts like all the time, and I watch Full Size Run. What's and that? That's a it's a it's a talk show when they talk about a lot of shoes and stuff that's coming out. 
like fashion. I, I really been into like a lot of mental hey. health and like financial hey. shit. Huh? That's all I've been into, like mental health, financial shit, like finances and like uh trying to be this no more. gonna be the owner of a bank. Yeah, that's day. yeah, that's I, shit like that. Right. That's the only thing I really been looking at, Nigga and uh, mostly like the money go, bro. mostly like things like that, bro. Because I'm trying to get my to life together financially. Are you enjoying that stuff? Yes, I'm enjoying it, bro. Uh, yeah, that's all I, that matters. Yeah, so like I know you listen, y'all you y'all listen to Aaron Foster's podcast, right? Aaron Foster. I listen yeah. to certain episodes. Yeah, I listen oh, to all his podcasts. I, I, I'd like to say. I'm not promoting it, but to live quality, to live quality's not first to episode, live cuckly. to live quality's first episode of his podcast with Bumby was pretty good. Uh, he put it out was, a, it he, was real good. Yeah. His first episode was with Bumby. Yeah. It was real. Good. I gotta check it out. Hey, he, I might have to rewatch it again because yeah. it was pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Stop like, yeah. hating. No, but right. Bumby's Bumby. episode on Aaron Foster podcast. Was it trash? Come on. Nah, that shit was heat. Bumby's oh really like. See? He's a hater. Nah, Bumby he's like, is, he was Bumby's, like the hate on my favorite. Nah, artists. but Bumby's no, really. I don't, bro. That shit was garbage. Nah. And I've listened to most Aaron. Nah, Aaron that Foster shit was don't have. A, as fuck. He do not have a trash podcast. He, he I have watched watched what that. episode do he have? I even watched the Bumby. Tyson, the yeah, Grod Tyson. Bumby was fucking boring as hell, bro. Him and when he had fucking Michael Rappaport. Oh, he I was, he was fucking yeah, sucking like, the white man's cock I don't like Michael on that Rappaport. podcast. I, anything with Michael Rappaport, I'm not watching. I watched and see if Arian would challenge that nigga. He did. not Nobody challenges him. I don't like do you, that nigga. Do you want him on the pod so we could challenge him? No, because we going to be fighting here. Ooh, nah, if I get Michael Rappaport. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I like, boy. you know, just get him with a few gut yeah, shots? Yeah, we going to beat the shit out that nigga. They going to be looking mm. for that nigga. Like, bro, so who's going to take the charge? Shit, me, bro. I don't care. Uh, but come on, stop slandering my favorite artist. Yeah, man. Me, I'm not slandering him. He's just boring to hear. He's a good rapper. He makes good music. I said that Trill Static was a dope album. That podcast just fucking made me fall asleep. That was a really good episode. He, he like I said, like this, please blah, 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 blah. check it out. Give me your opinion on that. Oh yeah, podcast. I will. Shut up, nigga. Because it's a pretty good pod. I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but think about this. Do you really want to give your dollars to Talib Cuckley? Why? Please explain your hate for Talib Kweli. Well, Talib. I don't hate Talib. He's a great rapper. He's just a fuck. All right, he's a great rapper. It's just, you know, the climate we in, we got to know mostly what everybody uh, mind frame is politically. Politically, like, so it's like with, with Talib, he's he's on the left side. Like, he's, like he's pro-black, I guess. But it's like some shit is like, he be sucking a dick sometimes. Sucking you know a mean? white liberal dick. But then he try to go at him, but then it's just like, it's just some shit they let slide. Like, I don't know. Like, I fuck with Nick Cannon heavy. I don't know if y'all do or not. Like, Nick Cannon be on some shit, bro. I fuck with Nick Cannon. Like, like Nick Cannon fucking ever look like his, how he just became, like, from this nigga from Nickelodeon, how we always thought this nigga was corny. But, like, the, the fucking thought process, like, him, like, talking about, like, shit that go on in the world and shit. He got a podcast, too. But, like, Nick Cannon, bro. Y'all, fuck with that nigga, dog. He be on some shit. So, all I'm saying is... At his level, at Nick Cannon level, he don't take shit from the whites, bro. Like, this nigga straight up say shit, bro. Like, that nigga don't sugarcoat nothing. Like, first I used to think that nigga was corny. I'd be like, bro, why Nick Cannon always talk about the bitches he's fucking? But he's like, bro, I just gotta be straight up. I just, it's hard for me to, like, sugarcoat shit. But now he's trying to start because he, like, he get in trouble by talking about fucking people, girls and shit. But anyways, y'all check out Nick Cannon podcast, bro. It's just heavy. Bro. No free ads. No, but nobody... I'm telling y'all, because I'm talking to y'all. Y'all can do No that. free ads. This is not a free ad. No free ads. Move on. Anyways. Oh, my God. Talib Kweli, he can be a, a dick suck sometimes. So That's all I'm going to say. And I, I understand. He be suck. He's like Killer Mike with uh, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, yeah. Like with Bernie Sanders. I fucking bro, hate Bernie Everything Killer Mike says besides Bernie Sanders' praise is pretty dope. Yeah, I'd be like, bro. I, Yuck. D- like the, the, the fucking... The, I, like, hold up. Like, some of the shit Killer Mike say, I'm like, how the fuck he agree with Bernie? Like, don't fucking vote, guys. Don't vote. <laughs> nah, I mean, vote if you got somebody you believe in. Like, right, right, right. I know Tevin's a big fan of Pete Booty Gig, the first openly we had gay to, man to run for president. Up. We talked about, <laughs> we talked about <laughs> our stance on voting and my stance on voting. But, guys, fuck Bernie Sanders. Fuck Bernie Sanders. Fuck, fuck. B, Bernie was it Sanders. was it the reparations thing that got you, B? No, nah, I didn't like Bernie Sanders from the get go, bro. Like any nigga that start off they shit, I march with Martin Luther King. I don't give a fuck, nigga. What you done for me lately, nigga? And what, what you, you did back there, nobody you, cared, nigga. Like you didn't do shit, bro. What do you want him to do for you, B? Well, what I want. I just want a system of of justice, and I want for the people 
my people to have equality. And we not seeing that shit. We see every day, every like some shit we don't see. Like you see the differences how they treat us in this country. Even though how the fuck we gonna trust a system that's not for us? And like how you gonna trust a system that a fucking country that had you enslaved, nigga? Like then they gonna just gonna turn the cheek and be like, all right, nigga, I'm cool, bro. Like y'all niggas, my niggas now. No, nigga, it ain't go that. It don't go down like that. So it's like we just gotta uh, get somebody that's for us, but like. We really have to put our money into somebody that have the ideas and you know that we'll want to put forward. But I, I can talk the shit that I want, and I know I'm not doing my do like the shit I want for what the cause I want to happen. I'm not putting in work for that. So it's like some shit I just stay quiet on, you know, because I like I know I'm not in a position right now. Even though a lot of people say I'm not in a position to do it, but I'm like, hey nigga, I'm just not in a position. Like, real shit. No, that was a nice political piece. B. Yeah, political pieces by B. Hey. Black power. Black power. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what the B stands for. We haven't had one of those in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what? Chop, chop, chop. Hey, that's chop, some chop, white chop. people better stop that. What you talking about? Uh, white people invented a lot of stuff. You want me to stop everything they invented? Yes. Okay. They invented this uh, this Puma jacket. Let me take it off. Nigga, I give you some Puma. He supports the white man by wearing that little that little gay pride shirt he got on. You tell me, black people can't be gay? No, but you are. Nah, nah, I just want all the black gay listeners. Oh, yeah, that Chase cool. does but the not one that support. Has the mic right there? Chase and does not is. support gay rights. He thinks you should be in camps. Do you? <laughs> now, who thinks of stuff like nah, that? But re- nah, you? but crazy thing, bro. Like a lot of like, like I really don't speak on shit like this because like, but I should. But um, like, bro, in Dallas, bro, they really killing a lot of trans black people, bro. Like, yeah. they coming up floating and shit, bro. Like, yeah. That shit crazy. I didn't even know it, but I didn't know like the community out there was like that. I didn't even know it. Like niggas are killing them, bro. It's dangerous out there. Yeah, I know it is, but it's like <sighs> shout out to my city. It's crazy, bro. So yeah, why is it? Oh, the mic's true. fucking falling. Because it's, you, y'all gotta, y'all pick up your crown, crown, queen. Quick intermission. Tr and we're back. We back, bro. But, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a nice little segment. Uh, yeah, y'all want to talk about Lil' Key's album? Well, I, well, I only to listen to, like, the first seven, eight songs. So it's like, I, I from that eight songs I listen to, I can't really form an opinion. Uh, but I probably won't go back to this album. I just will not. Damn, nigga, I thought you was a Key fan. I never said I was a Key fan. I never listened to a Key project, bro. I just posted hit that that song. I think I posted some in the group chat. I'm not a Key fan at all. Nope. Mm-hmm. So speaking of new music, what? Oh, not even new music. Like what? What music y'all been listening to right now? Oh man! Even man. though if it's probably same stuff in rotation, just let uh, us know. That UGK Dirty Money has been hitting way harder lately. <laughs> this way, <laughs> like, I'm talking about some current, like least current, oh, but current? not old. Like. I think it's a, oh, uh, Freddie's uh, three singles. Yeah. I mean, I like, three to four singles. I ain't listening to nothing yeah. off that yet, boy. Uh, Crick here because you know Crick is a goat and he is here. Oh yeah, he was getting slandered because people said the beat was trash. Oh, Which I oh, agree I, with. I'd also like to say he did come out with a video of him talking to his father for thirty minutes on YouTube. I'm gonna and to his my father watch later. does look like a milk dud. Oh my god! Wondering. See, but if I say his dad don't look like a milk dud. If I say it looks like spoiled milk, then what? Nigga, I'm not talking shit about you. <laughs> I'm talking shit about a person who you liked father. <laughs> if well, you say that Kanye's dad look like a milk dud, I'd be like, probably, bro. I'm not Kanye look, look like a father. milk dud. What about you? Or, hey, what you been listening to, bro? I've been listening to that Elton John boy. You know what I mean? That's not current. Is I don't give a fuck. Wait, I thought you were current. No, see, this t- you follow Tevin's rules. I follow no man. But that's no, your father right now. Anyway, I watched Rocket Man the other day Did you bring again. His Shut up, nigger. And it's probably one of my like top two favorite movies I've seen this year. Very great. Got me listening to that Elton John buzz. It's you know what I'm saying? Great. He likes it. He likes songs. What, what, what about you, uh, Shaq? <laughs> 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 that's Music funny, bro. bro. Yeah. What you mean? Oh, that Drake song with Chris Brown? Oh, yeah, that shit. Oh, yeah, that shit was I mean, on that shit. Uh, uh, I ain't really been listening to nothing like new. I like that Maxo Cream single still. I ain't hear it. I ain't hear it. That song. The old one? It's a, it came out probably a few months ago. Yeah, I heard it. But it is heat. Especially but the I, car. Uh, I've been listening to the Gold Link album, that Pusha T verse. The, the DS4. Y'all heard that Coke White, though? By who? Hold up, bro. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's snip it. Oh, I heard that album was crazy. You can be the yeah, mayor when the hard. whole city owe ya. We bought it, bought it like them no limit. Goldie don't be bumping like that, B. 
But you buff, you bugging. Hey, all right, I've been listening to Gar- <laughs> so you, you bump, bugging, you bro. Bump. You bugging. But I've been listening to that. And then, like, I, I don't know that. if y'all know who Baby Keem is, but he's just this young nigga that's just wild. Nah. But, I, I hey, he. Sorry. I'm just saying, yeah. I, I've been listening to Baby Keem. Even yeah, though I, I listened to him, like, last year. Nope. But, like, I really didn't, like, nope. pay attention to his project because he worked with Cardo. And yeah. I like Cardo. Okay, Cardo, Cardo got wings. wings. But if y'all ever heard the song, I, I know y'all heard hey, it. Hey, Pierre and Cardo's Wild Adventure. Go. What's the schoolboy Q song? Yeah. When it go, for two door coop, hopping out like Jack in the Box, nigga. I'm going to shoot times up. Uh, when it, J- J- uh, all right. Oh, that Something yeah. Did Cardo make that beat? I think he did. Yeah, oh, you right. talking about Num Num, 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 num Juice. juice. See that? See, that's like Baby Keem shit. Like, Baby Keem, like, I ain't He fuck with TDE, Baby Keem. Like, that type of beat is like the shit he rap off of. And like, he give you that energy. I would give y'all some, but y'all already know y'all gonna trash it. I'll play some and y'all be like, yeah. Hey, who y'all think, who y'all th- we, me and Hori was talking, who you think gets trashed the most in the group chat? Let's come on. What you mean? Who gets trashed the most Seven. in the group chat? Probably me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Who's, yeah. who's second, who's second? Probably Shaq's Chase. barely in there, so. Yeah, probably Chase. No, when Shaq comes in there, he just down, he just d- dislikes everything. Yeah, call people. <laughs> he, like, he goes in the road. He can be, hey, Shaq, you look good today, dislike. What the? Well, I mean, so, I, so I dislike, be, like, too. It's some things I be wanting to share, I be like, I'm not, because they're going to down it. Or they not even going to listen to it. Like, no, like the hey, bro, I listen to most Why does it matter if somebody downs it? It doesn't oh, okay. matter. I'm just I just like, like I just like to see what y'all opinion is. Y'all down down with it. It. Oh yeah, I only down for shit as a joke or when Chase is being gay. That's it. But you be hard in it though. Shut up, nigga. Oh man. shit, I gotta check out the Ignorance is Bliss album. The uh, the skeptic. Oh yeah, that Jim Jones album I fuck with heavy. I be jamming. Even heavy. though he was twerking yeah. in that one video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that nigga was twerking his ass. Off. Oh yeah, he's the Puerto Rican one. When Tevin, hey, when Tevin looked down at his phone, he looked like Martin Lawrence. I was trying to figure out because I couldn't. I knew one of them was Puerto Rican, the other one's Dominican. That's nasty. So the, you know they have two halves of me. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Lawrence, Tell me I'm not <laughs> Jewels Jones, bro. No, you are. Shut uh, up, nigga. Y'all hype for uh, E40's new album? Who cool. put uh, that in here? Practice Makes Paper? Was that you? Nigga, yeah. have I? I don't think I ever Why? listened to E40's album. E40's done shit. E40. Hey, remember? <laughs> what happened to that E40 song he was supposed to put out with a... Uh, what's his name? Blueface. Never dropped. Dude, hell no, nah, bro. Yeah, damn, bro. Blueface fell off the map quick. Quick. Niggas don't give a fuck about him now. I just see, the, I just see people roasting that nigga now. Yeah, good. Oh, and it's a roasting that nigga feet. Yeah. Like Alright, yeah, the chance snippet, that was actual bad information. But did y'all see the chance uh he was going in on some of his fans on Twitter? Tell him to suck a dick or something. What do you call him? Yeah. He think it was being an asshole. Yeah, eat dick. He said people somebody said people have different music tastes and that's fine. But the way you talking to your fans who've been with you since ten days is disappointing and that ego reflects in the quality of your newest music. And this nigga said, Eat a dick. Nigga replied again. Nigga said, eat a bag of dicks. Like, bro, Chance, nigga, low so key going. He huh? He was just telling Chance, like, we don't like where your music's going. Why you being rude? And this nigga was like, go eat a bag of dicks, nigga. Be rude. They not rude, bro. Chance fans not rude. They just, you know, annoying. Because they Chance fans. I feel like. But yeah, have y'all heard, like, some of his recent snippets and stuff? Nah, I don't no. listen to him. Shit is, uh, you know. Pretty trash. Can we talk about a real artist? Bro, you brought up E40. I'm to Bro, I knew Chance was oh, trash. E40 was when e, when Chance made a video yeah, with a few niggas dancing and one of them had a fucking My Hero Academia shirt on, I knew he was gone. It was over. Am I right, Chance? Hey, is E40 a legend to y'all? He's a Bay Area legend. But he's he has he hey, stepped Bay Area legend. Nah, I feel like Nah, he's not a rap legend. I don't think. You don't think E40 a rap legend? No. I think he is. Nah. Forty rider. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. It's like E forty is like E forty. Uh, you know that bass sound, that rapping off beat. His slang, nigga. His shit is like was you. I don't know. Like E forty is a fucking legend. Bro. Ugh, mom. I really don't want that cereal. Ugh. <laughs> like, I don't know. E forty a legend in my eyes. Thank you. Like he's a legend, yeah. I don't think he is. No, I think he's a legend for his area. Let's talk about some real music. The Zach Fox character. Oh, that's Chase's buddy. Uh, Zach, my guy. I didn't even know who this was. What? Until... Wait, hey, he can, I say, can I say my piece? I didn't know who this was until he put it in the notes. So I did a little research on him and stuff. I still don't know who he is. Well, Zach Fox is a... Uh, on Twitter, this nigga's like a so-called like... 
he just posts crazy shit. But I follow him from uh, fucking with like awful records. Like I used to like this out of Atlanta. Oh, awful Cardi was goat. Uh, and and now nah, awful records was father uh, later. father and all them. I used Cardi to used to be on there before he abandoned. Them. Yeah, I used to listen back like 2013, 14 heavy, and that's how I found out about Zach Fox. But he directed the uh, the. What that video? Uh, uh, what's the Uber everywhere? He like directed that video. Oh, that video sucks. Uh, he did a lot of, like he draw. He used to do, like illustration and shit. But but in that like he fuck with Kenny Beats. Kenny Beats cool, and uh, he's Kenny starting Beats to make white. music. Yeah, he's a white guy, but he's straight. I watched. Uh, Zach I watched Fox this. Doesn't. I watched nah, this. He's black. Uh, no, he's gay. He has a fucking girlfriend. Nigga, he said if you wouldn't if you wouldn't go on a date with a trans person, block me right yeah, now. Yeah, he's just he's uh, one of those social oh, warrior man. niggas, dog. Like SJ Dubs, cause like he's one of them niggas that thought like how Kanye was. You know, like Kanye, like oh five. Kanye was saying like, yo, stop using gay as a verb. Like Kanye was just before niggas was talking about this shit. You know how niggas now he's they gay as a verb. He did. You know how niggas be like, yo, that shit. No, he said as a noun. As a noun, my oh. bad. As a noun, oh. like, like stop calling things gay. Yes, yeah, stop calling things gay. My bad. I don't mean a verb. I meant a noun. Cause niggas is gay though. But like, yo, like Kanye used to be on shit. Like Kanye was on that shit before, but now everybody is like social net, uh, like social media warrior, like social net, whatever they call them. Niggas. Social justice, social justice, warrior. justice warriors, like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas know, like, bro, like, a nigga going in there, like, yo, bro, love your trans people, blah, 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 blah. And niggas be like, bro, ew, get away from me. Like, what the fuck? Like, outside of the internet, like, niggas be fake. But Zach is one of them niggas that, that is a weird ass nigga that might, will take some up the ass. You just never know. But you know what you bro? does? I don't care. Huh? You I doing said, it? He does? I don't care. Yeah, like, you doing it, bro? It's like, I really. <laughs> Told me to take a little zigzag. But I like I've been say, following him on Twitter for a long I'd time. I like to say, I checked out. Two of his songs that Jesus, uh, the freestyle he had in Kenny Beats Cave, and the actual song he did, I get where he's going. It just wasn't funny to me. Yeah, I'm not fit to listen to it because I know his personality. Well, I, know I saw the podcast thing, so I'm like, okay, let me check it out because I don't know. Who he made a song. It was like, what is it? I have depression. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, I hate niggas like that. No, he was freestyling in Kenny Beats thing. That's what it came from. No, nah, I don't care, bro. Niggas using depression like for a thing. That's what no, we like mean. he was saying it corny. Like he was doing yeah, because he is corny. Yeah. He should be dead. Uh, we don't wish death upon people. I do. Oh. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I don't wish death on anyone besides the uh, Harvey Weinstein, Oprah Winfrey. Uh, that's it. Ooh, let's get into these. Oh. Let's go on to the next subject, guys. Uh, more classics. Who has more classics? Jay Z versus Scarface. Oh yeah, I was listening to. Say ho. I was listening to Bomani Jones podcast, and he takes go. he did what? I said go. Yeah, he tell he has like a second podcast called The Evening Jones where he talks about at nothing sports because that's his day job. Somebody asked him, there was like, is there any rappers you think have more classics than Jay Z? And then he said, yeah, because he said he thinks Jay-Z only has two classics. So he said he thinks Kanye has more, Scarface has more, Public Enemy, uh, Eric B. and Rakim. Uh, there was a few other people. But most of them, oh, Outkast. And so I was thinking about so it. So you got groups against? against yeah. This albums. Okay. It's album. Yeah, it's uh, just an album, nigga. Only one thing with Scarface, bro. Scarface don't have a bad album to me. True. Yeah, a lot of. He has some mid ones, but that's you know. But that's gonna come with a big discount. In my opinion, I feel like Please overall, stop. Scarface probably had about four classics. I would say, conservatively speaking, probably three, which is still more than I agree with Monty Jones that Jay Z only has what two. Kind of classics? The I feel like Jay Z has the fix. the fix is definitely a classic. Yeah, the, the, fix, diary, the diary. Diary is a classic. Scarface is back. I don't. No, nah, I don't uh, think that's the one I counted. Uh, Let me go to my thing. thing. Oh yeah, he said he said that like a personal classic to him is a uh, what's it called? The we were talking about this album the other day. It's like recent. Not deeply rooted with the woman for that. I don't know why. No, yeah, deeply rooted. Yeah, that's just hard. But yeah, I think I my it. oh, the world is yours. I think is my third class. Not the world is yours. Yeah, no, I think it's the world is yours. Is what I was talking about. Man, but that hey, Mr. Untouchable is hard. But yeah, you know what's called Mr. Untouchable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that one. But yeah, I think he has three. I think Jay Z only has two. The blueprint and a uh, reasonable doubt. Yeah. See, cause like if you if this one to tell y'all with, with Scarface, bro. When you go, the Scarface, these are two albums. I'm gonna say 
is guaranteed. His Those prices. are like classic. The fix by everyone. and the diary, and with Jay Z, I that's only why I chose Jay Z is on the universal level, like universal. Like people, I think like, even universal people think. I think Jay Z have, have three though. What's the third one? You got reasonable doubts. Nigga, don't say four. If you say four, 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 I I'm not for this. I will slap the shit. Out. You gonna say Play one well. of the in my lifetimes? I'm gonna say nah, reasonable doubts. Don't rock with him like that, huh? Now like the people, the, now the people, like what about the, I, I the black album? Now opinion. the, bro, don't know. I don't think that's a classic. People thought the black album was a classic until he came back. Like if that was his last album, I think people would accept it as a classic. Wait, is this unpopular? I like the In My Lifetime series. They're the not thing bad. I think is the weakest is three. People just think he like not sold out, but he went mainstream on the last couple. Because you know like he Annie had all the you know big pimping. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah, no, but three to me, that was the weakest out of all the three of them. Four 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 is dope though. I like that album a lot. Oh yeah, it's been one year since the Carter uh, "Everything Is Love" came out. Bro, what, are you, what classic is that? album? What's that? <laughs> the Jay Z and Beyonce album. <laughs> but what do y'all? What do you believe, Shaq? Or do you not listen to either of them? I don't listen to either of them like that. Music. Is what do you listen to? What do you listen to, Shaq? Oh yeah, me and Shaq like. talking about how many classics does Wayne have? What? Two? I said two, yeah. yeah. That's what uh what Bomani Jones said two or he said two or three. Which you know, yeah, Carter know. two. Go. Uh I would say Carter one. And then you could say Carter three if you wanted to. I wouldn't. Because there's too much filler on there. Carter if you put the leak the best songs off the leak and the best songs off the Carter three though, that's a classic album as well. And then I know Chase has I'm not a human being two as one of his, so Yes, yeah, true. You know, I ain't worried about nothing. And dedication went uh, four. Yeah, but that's a mixtape. Still, one of the it's better than all his other albums. Dedication four. That's like the third and best no dedication. Two. And no ceilings two. <laughs> y'all, y'all should be getting one. Hey, one nah, no ceilings two is heat, right, Tevin? Oh, and sorry for the wait too. Thanksgiving. Sorry for the wait too. Yeah, that's I'm so sorry for the wait too. That song is so fucking garbage. I like Sorry for the Wait. Hey, Sorry for the Wait. You like Sorry for the Wait too? A little bit. Sorry for the Wait 1 is heat. Yeah. But yeah, bro, Sorry for the Wait, where it's like uh, the Chief Keef mixtape. That's heat. Gas. That is heat. That's the best out of the Sorry for the Wait series. Nah. Sorry. Tevin, sorry. back me up here, bro. But um, in this <laughs> argument, Scarface has more classics. Oh, and Chief Keef has more classics than all of them. Hell no. Bang 1, 2, 3. Finally, rich. Hey, Four. So Bam. Lil Durk's in jail. Who's really, who's really the king of Chicago? Why did you put that in the notes? I didn't. I oh, just okay. Want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, B. Who's oh, who's the real like king of Chicago? Is it Lil Summer? Who? Uh, Come. Not after that. Nah, did you hear that? Did you see that verse I sent to the chat? That was horrible. Boy, that's oh, yeah, that shit was bad as fuck. Him talking about like different, yeah. yeah he need a shot. I, you, know, I'll read it for the listeners. Yeah, he's the king of Chicago, bro. Period. You hear me? You gotta tighten it. Well, actually, really, R. Kelly. Oh yeah. Hey, pause the podcast while I tighten it. Where'd she ask who get colonized the other day? What though? No. By Joe. <laughs> By who? Yeah, that's nasty. That's nasty. But uh, what was that? Oh. Ugly human. All right, he said, <laughs> "And young thugs." You heard that, Terrell? We got him. <laughs> Chase, are you listening, bro? Yes. In Young Thugs, you see a future. You recognize Lil Uzi ain't here to shoot you. At 21, you knew I was savage. But you said, Common, you will never be average. It's a cold world. We need J. If you could dot com, you could dot K. Hold on, where is that from? The, um, one of his newest singles. He, I think it's like a. He, and I heard love something like that. It's a, nigga. It's a fucking J Dilla beat. <laughs> that he got to to use this. Is Jay rolling in his grave right now? Be for that? Yes. If he could roll, <laughs> literally in his wheelchair. Oh! All right, roll that. Yo, uh, RIP Jay. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, B. That's that was just a funny joke. Come on, B. I'm an asshole, but I love Jay Dilla, bro. One of my favorite. Do you eat of all asshole? Time. Huh? So you eat asshole, bro? Never. Did you ever eat some ass with one of your solos? Wait, how did I do that? That's the point. How am I possible? Of like, hey, B, we also want to talk. Hold up, hold on up. your solos. Let's let's talk about this. Hold up, hold up. Wait before we get solos. Do anybody got a pegging price? All right. A pegging price? Yeah. Like a what? A price? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, how much money <laughs> would you take to let your girl peg you? Bro? Wait, like is she like just penetrating once or like what? Like, bro, she giving you the whole deal, dog. Nigga, hell, the whole deal, dog. The whole deal, dog. 
Hey, but we know Javante has no price. The, is he still working at Walmart? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I thought he was leaving. Morning. Yeah. Nah, I ain't even uh, Packing price. Let me see. Come on, like dog. how many strokes? Like just one. Nah, stroke? bro, you giving a whole shebang. Like, whatever she's done, I don't like, know. Whatever she's done, whatever she's done, bro. When, I'm gonna get a fat girl. <laughs> I'm gonna get a fat girl. <laughs> Dude, boy, that, boy, that gonna hurt. She stamina? She's fit. Boy, she gonna be chased. Cool. Boy. <laughs> I mean, What's for Chase, price? it's probably easy, bro. He's probably been loosened up quite a few times. Hey, facts. Uh, uh, gay. You be digging in your booty hole, huh? I don't know what you said, but yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Bro, why hey, he you... touched my hand, so I don't uh, know what that means. Where? Why? Why yeah, is that? Uh, a come good on, one? be real. What's y'all's pecking price? Come on, be real. I don't have. Hey, one. yes, you do. <laughs> you tell me, a girl offered you five million. You wouldn't let her? Yeah, I let her pay me. Five million. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Come on, come on. Hey, I, just, I just forgot it ever happened. Like, we were talking about this earlier, bro. So like, come on, come on. What? All right. So would y'all would y'all kiss a dude for five million? Yes. All right. So yeah, that's, that's easy. my dad kissed me. All right, all right. Because right. the hey. nigga Zach, the nigga Zach was like, Nah, bro, you're giving up everything that you believe in for that. I'm no, like, I'm not. Nigga, I'm gonna be able to take I care of myself. Nigga for less, hey, bro. look, like, hey, I'm like the young dude. Yeah. Hey, you hear this nigga? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you you need five hundred k. I kiss a nigga. Like what the fuck? Uh, it's just kissing somebody. Even if everybody knows. Bro, I I'm wouldn't cool. care, bro. I kissed the nigga. You, you making it sound like I'm just making out with them. That's like, just a little kiss, a peck on the cheek. Yeah. I mean, no, a peck on the cheek. lips. Yeah. I'm cool with that. What if it was a tongue kiss? How uh, that's a little different. Kiss? That's a little Nigga, different. I don't know. I, no, you got to tell me how long. Because yeah. I can't say yes, and then he wouldn't go for 30 minutes trying. You know, put his hands on his hands or something. I'll bro. kiss my girl for 30 minutes. A good no, minute. No, a good one minute. A good one minute? Five You got to give me like 10 mil for that one. Five mil and everybody knows? Oh my god, hey, it's five million. Think about all your grandparents and all your older like relatives that and think about like, oh. and think about how good off they'll be. True, I th- F it, I'll do it. F I'll do it. I'm, nigga, not, I'm not gonna lie, I'll nigga, do it. You good, bro? You can five, take. Wait, wait, wait! I'm not gonna get, take more than, I'm gonna get taxed like the lottery, though, right? No, you're not getting all that five million. Me, yeah, I'll do it. Fuck. F it. I had a little no, more yeah, time. I'm, I'm making more, investments and everything. Yeah. Hey, y'all can have all y'all want. Oh, and I'm getting. Hey, say I'm getting. And I'm getting him killed. Damn. Oh yeah, we talk about <laughs> wait, 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 come on. The Tory Lanez video got debunked. What? What happened? <sighs> he just he didn't debunked that shit, Jorge. Yeah, Brought a the girl, girl cause you know you saw the video of Tory where he yeah, said get that light skin girl out, and he brought in like a dark skin girl. No, she was already there. Yeah. But the director wanted to change it with a light skin girl. Yeah. But then he was like, yo, no. Apparently, the model girl said that 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 Tory like tried to make it look like that, but it really wasn't. That he was like, hey, cut the video right here and we'll use it for this. So, Tory Lames? Hey, so you wouldn't let it, you wouldn't kiss a dude for five mil? But stop being a fag. Can we talk about some real information here? <laughs> or you just interrupted that. We were talking about man. souls last podcast. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, that was important. It was, we was oh, reaching out be, to our young we brother. We were to say, be, let's be real. What's up? Me and Horry was talking. Do you like, like, uh, post-dub your, like, your solos? Like, like, I said that he might not have a script or he might just, like, you know, improvise ad lib. Y'all be talking like, about Like, oh, yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. Look, look, this is what happens. Sorry. Let me show y'all. This is oh, like. I'm just going to show you a video. No, this is like, um, this, is pre- out, this is pre-production. <laughs> this is like the mind frame of a solo video. Like, this is how it all starts. Like, originally the video might start off as like. Wait, so you record yourself or you put that bitch down? No, I've been recording there. myself, bro. You gotta get in close, so bro. Get, I am a nigga. I'm Mark. I'm I'm like Martin Scorsese. So you get your toes curling and everything. No, no, hey, like, no. Like, I'm, I'm, hey, B, let's be real. Be real. Like you lotion up your meat a little bit. No, now. never. Make sure it's not never, ashy. I never have to lotion, bro. Like I, who moisturize? Like anybody use lotion to jerk off? See, I never no, did. See, wait, wait, wait. I'm be real with you. When I was in high school, all right. Hey, you used to raw hand it. Yeah, so I, I came to college. I'm like, you know what? Let me try this lotion thing. It slows me down. I'm not gonna lie. It gets in my way. Makes a mess. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like the lotion, bro. I raw it like I raw the vagina. I, 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 I go sushi, bro. Uh, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like ODB, bro. <laughs> Baby, I like it raw. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, bro, it's like my man Kane always says. You need to go in dry because friction makes fire. Hey, hey, Tevin come home from a long day of work. Hey. Don't wash his hands and get straight to it. Boy, no, I. <laughs> hey, like T Grizzly? 
the crazy thing is, I mean, <laughs> nah, dog, nah, nah, bro, look, uh, hey, nigga, real nigga, shit, bro. Meats and all nah, bro, I wash my hands. Hey, as soon as he gets to the crib, I shower. No, but look, I'm gonna tell you, hey, I, I know. this is my new technique. <laughs> I don't really like when I say raw handed. I don't use my hand no more. I have a special blanket. Wait. It's so please soft, wait. bro. Please wait. You it's, hump your blanket, me? It's not like humping. You hump your blanket. <laughs> it's not like humping the blanket, bro. I don't know. I, it's hard to explain. Wait, B. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I need you to hey, explain B, this one. Don't not not know. No, it's does. just like covering your weenie with a blanket, and you just jerk it. You still jerking it, but you not like you fucking the blanket. You just. The so you wrap guy. it around like it's a condom and yeah, you use your hands. Can we move on? That's fucking the blanket. <laughs> I'm not fucking. Nah, it. but he's not humping it. No. He's just oh, not humping oh no! It. <laughs> I can t- if I get into if I get into like uh 13 year old Tim y'all be what the fuck? <laughs> but like I ain't gonna get. I'm not getting into that. If y'all think that's weird, I have hey, some shit. fucking stories, bro. You got some videos? No. All right, now, now you we didn't have a footy back then, man. boy. That's right, nigga. Shut up. We just have to ask that B because that was yeah, that was yeah. Jorge was wondering that all week. You really derailed a podcast for some gay talk. <laughs> it wasn't gay. Hey, nothing wrong with being gay these days. Bro. Yeah, Jorge. Excuse I mean, you, me? you be the one that wearing the LGBT shirt, nigga. You're an LG. You look like an OGB. You're right. Team. I am in the LGBT. I'm the A for ally. No, you're. A- <laughs> bro, I wish I could stab you with a knife. Right now. <laughs> Moving on. Oh yeah, Tevin. So somebody, this is actually another thing off that podcast. Somebody asked him, "Uh, what are your top five? We do like top one or two since we run in on time. But what are your top like one or two or three rap what ifs? Like for example, uh, like what if Pimp C doesn't die? Oh, that would be goat. Like because he, somebody was saying on Twitter, it was like imagine Pimp C in this era where like all this fuck shit is happening, and he could be the voice of reason." Imagine if like Outkast didn't break up. Yeah, or somebody said like, "What if uh, Leo Cohen doesn't break up Rockefeller?" You know, y'all rock hoes, I rock fellas. <laughs> this nigga talking about us derailing the podcast. Shut up, nigga. This is actually on the fucking Look, subject. He, you would, he hey want, Shaq, you would know if you ever opened the notes, hey, nigga. Listen, all he want to do is have everybody else stop talking so everybody can hear his gay shit. How was that gay? <laughs> That's, your ass up. That's a fucking lyric, you ding no, bad. It's your bitch ass up, nigga. nigga Go ahead, Tevin. Like All right, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if y'all like Wu Tang fans. I'm probably not. Nah, I ain't. nigga, me, Chase, we all. Y'all not. Y'all not. Wu- nigga, I am. Wait a second. Name. Why does this look photoshopped? Like something they photoshopped them. Why that nigga Slim, Slim Thug look like Boogie Cousins, nigga? They <laughs> <laughs> like the Marcus Cousins. Hey, bro. he was pretty slim in that picture. <laughs> this looks so fake. <laughs> Nah, you, you, you could you name all nine members, nigga? Nigga, we asked me this before. He you didn't like, name. You said one. name five, and I was like, all right. You I only named like you could name nine though, nigga. So you're what not a fan. What does that mean? That means a lot. I'm messing with you, bro. Anyway. Bro, name the three members of Outkast. Niggas two. No, it's not it's three. All right, cool. Are you please all include organized noise? No, nigga, that's a whole. Uh, that's a whole group yuck. of producers. What are you saying, yuck for? Shut up, bitch. Organized noise is hard. Bro, you want to? You want to die, nigga? Look, he doesn't know about his southern hip hop. Yeah, you're, you're just about that that rapidy rap. You're a southern dick hop ass. Oh, what if you know? Yeah. I, I always oh, yeah, want to think. said he doesn't like the fucking flow of the '90s southern rappers. I don't. Like, well, he I'm said that the I'm talking about, I'm talking about ghetto. Fires. I know we talked about it, but he knows that. Fucking fag. I don't. They it's sound some, just like in the some UGK don't. shit. He don't like too. Like yeah, yeah like yeah. two artists oh. and stuff like that. I don't like it like hey, that. Hey, I like the UGK. Stuff like once they hit, once they get riding dirty. Yeah. That's when they started hitting it like just Because Ryan out. Dirty and Even Bum B said it He was like That's the album they really wanted to make Yeah So Well you know you got It's like It's like with Wu-Tang Like after like 36 Chambers Like when they put out Fucking when um, Into the Wu? No when only No when only When only Built for Cuban Links came out Like They fucking rapping was like, Even they was Going the fuck off But it's like Only Built for Cuban Links Them niggas was on some other shit Spectre Deck Like fucking Uh Face and Raekwon But anyways My what if was like What if RZA Never let them niggas Out their contract bro Oh you must watch That documentary I'm just saying That shit would be crazy i never seen it yet Yeah i seen it And that shit just got me thinking Cause it, it Fucking split them up Already like Shit was crazy fam That documentary is dope Y'all should check it out I will What it's about dope. the one where I'm, Oh yeah, I, you I, I, I probably I might 
You know, I'm I'm just not catching back up with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, and yeah. I watched like ten episodes within the last two to three days. You don't watch, okay, so what do that's you a lot. You don't watch anime that much. Look stuff up. But yeah, not, uh, yeah. I stopped. I haven't been watching. One of my top what is? Uh, it's not really I rap, but it is. Like it is R and B. Oh yeah, Shaq probably watched the most anime out of all of us. Yeah, you do, nigga. Nigga, I don't watch anime. We was just talking about this. But you the was, only shows I watch all year is Attack on Titan and Mob Psycho. Yeah, but you was. You they be, both ten episodes. You had like one of man. I mean, what was the Neverland? I didn't watch it. You I was, wanted to, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't really like anime anymore, yeah. like that. Like I, it's cool, and I'd be, I'd be like, ooh, this is for good first episode. You know how many first episodes I watched yeah, last year that I was just like, I don't even. It's, it's not. That's how Mob Psycho was for me for a long time. I ain't watch. It don't, it don't, ain't the same. It don't hit. Anymore. It don't hit as much. Anime. It's for the kids and the babies now in the game. I've been off of. Are you gonna watch Dragon Ball Super when it comes back? Nigga, Dragon Ball Super is not anime. That is art. First of all, yuck. First of all, no. Stop yes, it that. is. Please don't ever say that. Again. Dragon Ball Z is the go. Dragon Ball Super is not. Watch no, your mouth. Z, go. watch, watch Super your. Hey, not. are you gonna let me talk? Shoot, now it's about Super. Shut up. You brought it up. Hey, I just wanted to. Do Man, I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. <laughs> What's your what if, bro? Oh, mine was what if Aaliyah don't get on that plane? This nigga, she had to. She shot the video there. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> she had to get back to the U.S., though. All I'm saying, bro, is Beyonce will be working in a pizza so kitchen. Wait, wait, wait. She's already out, you pussy. Was it on her way to wherever she was going? Or was it on her way back? It was on her way back. Because mm-hmm. I watched the making of the video. On BET, I remember that shit. Nigga, That's after that... Crazy. That nigga star. I can't even watch. Ah, uh, me too. What? <laughs> hey, I can't even imagine like nigga. I'll probably pass out before that shit happens. Well, before you hit the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I was all right, bro. Look, this is gonna be clipped later one day. No, nah, but for real though, how that's would you rather problem. die, bro? Like a brutal death, like instant, or like that's falling true. from a building was like the sky or some shit. I want something instant, but I kind of want something like thrilling too at the same time. So falling off a building sounds pretty cool. But you're. Watching yourself, like yeah, you just yeah, but it. I'm not in pain though. At least, nigga, you're yeah, like, but that's uh, the fucking about to happen, uh. yeah, the fucking suspense of like when you're gonna hit, like it's not suspense. Crazy. I see it coming. No, closer. not if I'm, <laughs> you're falling back. Oh, falling back? No, yes. I want to fall head first. That way I know. I'm, hey, look, that way I know I'm cracking my head clean open. You, you know where I get this from? You watched Brightburn, right? I thought you meant uh, no, but no, you I saw he dropped Brightburn. her from the fucking. Would you rather oh, die like his mom or die like the dad? The dad was just fucking all in your face, nigga. I definitely don't want to die like the, his uncle. Yeah, that nigga jaw was all fucked up. And he was still alive. Mm-hmm. F that. That shit was the funniest scene, though. Like, nah, he, the scene where no, she was pulling that, that, that. Oh. oh okay. You don't want to do that. Hey, I'm the, hey, I'm that, that scene where she was pulling that glass on her eye? Yo. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Why they call, keep calling this nigga BBW, bro? Who? Basic. Basic. This nigga said Kyle Lowry got a ring and a fat ass. A lot of you bitches can't relate. Dog, I'm, I'm out of here. And he wants us. <laughs> we beat the red one. Oh, man. <laughs> I might have to leave a little early though at twelve because I gotta I gotta sleep. Mm. Y'all gonna have to finish it. Don't sleep with us, bro. With us? It's you, nigga. There's no us. Oh, I have a question in the pod. What is it? What are some albums from like recent years y'all still go back to, but isn't from like your favorite artist or like an artist y'all often listen to? I always go back to the Sir album, Pinata. He's a he's not a rapper, but he's he's R and B. Just just an album, yeah. Journal. I always go back to that album. I always go back to that you go back to, but it's not from an artist you like generally listen to. Uh, yeah, uh, the Sir album. Um, it's another album I listened to the other day. Oh, uh, a love letter to you one. Uh, probably the Quayle Chris. I wasn't a trippy that much, but I'll be going back to that shit. Like, oh. But you like trippy, I thought. I do like trippy. So you can't count that. I mean, that is, I'm not gonna listen like to me. That. I like Gunner's Drip season three. I go to I go back to the first few tracks off that album. I don't go back. Well, off that mixtape. Like oh, I go back to uh. Perfect habits a lot. Perfect who? Perfect timing. Yeah. What? Perfect, Perfect habits. habits. <laughs> oh, cause bad habits, bad habits. <laughs> Yo, no, check this shit out. All right, I was pulling to Walmart the other day. Oh no. Tell me why. <laughs> he said, no, oh, yo. tell me why. 
some Indian niggas jamming the half. Hey, I just thought of this nigga, dog. I just was dying. He was like, like, what now? Like, I don't know what it was. Like, it was they probably off the, new album. Right? Like off the new album. It was like off the new album or something. I got a turban on my head. That's fucking off the wicked, though. You see? You see how no, they just are making fun no, of us. Yeah, yeah, but he's making that fun of that flaw for reckless. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that shit. I just was like, I was like, yo, this nigga's really jamming nav. Yeah, Bro, nigga, I ain't got no nav in my Serato, nigga. Yeah, yeah, you. you ain't even got a Serato. <laughs> hey, I do got Serato. You playing Switch. that in your car, bro? You gonna do her like uh, Gucci Mane did that one girl? Who don't got? I got Serato on my on my laptop. Oh, <laughs> Serato is a DJ. It's a DJ. Uh, it's the DJ. Hey, hey, you got All right, bro. Niggas, so Chase, I got a question shit. for you, bro. Chase, I'm waiting. Fifty sh- rib shots from Mike Tyson, or fifty back shots from Mike Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you like fifty seven. Like fifty seven. What? Oh fifty God. back shots from Mike Tyson. Fifty rib shots. Yo, Is guys. he prepping me like with lube from Yo, back guys. there? Like, <laughs> I got a like, Is he bro. just like randomly hitting me? No, wait, <laughs> you gotta answer the question for you, please. Rip shots. You're gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I gotta go, guys. Like, wait, am I getting paid after that, though? No. <laughs> All right, y'all. I don't wanna do it. I'm getting. Please hit me in my heart. Shaq said he wants those backs. He said he's oh, just doing it just cuz. Yeah. Shaq? Which one you picking, bro? Oh, you getting both then. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine getting both, dog. You had a choice, boy, but you ended up getting both. I ain't answering that nasty ass question. (laughs) (laughs) We're moving on to the mate section of the podcast. This is where we talk about all things. Wait, we still got the mate? Yes. Oh, my God. (laughs) We only an hour and 16 minutes in. That's a long time. You guys, we haven't had like two, two hour podcasts. We can just breeze through most of this because who who cares about Final Fantasy VIII Remaster and coming? I do, but it's not coming out for five years. So, are you serious? Probably, nigga. Look at how <laughs> bro, they announced Final Fantasy VII remake like in like twenty fifteen. No, what? It's Final Fantasy VIII HD. It's a remaster. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's a remaster. That's what seven. That's what seven technically is. Yeah, seven's a whole different game, bro. Basically. <laughs> With, with two parts of it. So then we have part two of it, part one. That's some bullshit. I know. It's just a way for them to charge niggas. But it's not coming out <laughs> anyway. So. Guess what? Negroes are going to buy it. Yeah, they going to buy you it. You going to buy it? No, I'm not. I'm not in the Final Fantasy like that. Wow, you fag. Breath of the Wild sequel said to, to be the darkest Zelda game even more than the Majora's Mask. That's what they saying. Majora's yeah. Mask is pretty dark, though. That game deals with like depression and shit, and like fucking moving on from people dying and suicide. Oh, that's why it's the best Zelda game. Chill, what? I said this nigga's a head ass boy. Who? Chase. How? You pulled a fucking mic out? No, I did not. You fucking dyke. Someone hit the table and then it fell. Shaq. <laughs> Why you say someone, nigga? Cause I don't know which one of you two. Cause he wanted to talk that nigga. I, I'm not even close to the tape. I just said I don't know which. Okay, then obviously it was Shaq. You fucking Jewess. Sure. Anyway, moving on. Toy Story Four getting great reviews so far. I'm not really excited to see it, but I'll see it. What about y'all? I'm excited to see it because I kind of am hyped for it after rewatching some of these movies. You yeah, know, I'm low key a slut for Toy Story, so I'm not gonna lie. I, I think this might be good. But yeah, on that note, what's y'all favorite Pixar film? Mine is Toy Story uh, 3, I think. Toy Story 1. That's fair. Shaq, that's Toy that's Story you one. probably. Toy Story 1. Wait, Chase, I thought you were a big Bugs Life guy. Legendary. I do like Bugs Life, but I'm not a big Bugs okay. Life guy. Bugs Life would eat. Yeah, so oh, Coco's up there, though, too, for me. I never watched Coco. Coco's therefore, I can't hard. Speak and I don't even like, like the, the Mexicans. Heads. What? I thought you said you liked Over the Hedge. First of all, that's a dream work. First of all, Over that the Hedge is fire, <laughs> and the game is even better. <laughs> that is facts. So what do y'all think the worst Pixar film is? I say Brave, because I hate it. Brave or Good Dinosaur? I don't know. Good Dinosaur is some bullshit, too. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Good Dinosaur might be that. Movie. Cars That's 2 the is... time I like Brave. Woo! You really want to bring in Cars 2? I, I, I don't think Cars 2 is worse than Brave. I think Brave is awful. I like the Brave at the time. 
Well, then what's the worst one to you? Brave is not the best. What's the worst? Nigga, I said the worst. Yeah, that would be the worst for me, though. But I still liked it. Nigga, you ever seen how many Pixar movies? Have you seen Up? Yeah, I've seen Up. Up not worse. Two? It's not yeah. worse than Brave. Cars 2? Yeah. Cars 1? Yeah. All right, but but chill Brave on Brave Cars, Brave. Cars 1. No, I'm just that's naming Pixar. Cars movie. one is a solid mid tier. Yeah, we 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 talked about this. But I watched them. We're gonna get into those movies. tiers of the Pixar movies later in the podcast. But yeah, Brave is the worst out of all of them. That's true. So, yeah. Okay. Big facts. Godzilla versus Kong is pushed back nine months because the newer one is flopping. I saw it. I liked it. Have either of y'all seen I liked it? it? Yeah. I haven't seen it. It's flopping for real. Yeah, that shit's not even gonna make like a hundred million dollars in the United States. Why? Cause I guess well I mean the human parts are fucking awful. That's awful, true. Bro. Hey, that shit is fucking mind numbing. Hey, the, uh, the one nigga was like, uh, the God Godzilla joke. Oh yeah, hey Chase, you have you that seen the trailer? Like, bro, what the fuck, There's a scene where the main nigga is like, up there, it's like a god, and then the other nigga comes in and he's like, Zilla. Hey, that, I- Bro, okay, listen. The monster movies be forcing on some shit like that, bro. Every time, bro. That's why I like. Wait, Shaq, who be forcing more? Me or the or those movies? You. You. Dang. That's why I liked yeah. Kong School Island because they cut out. Honest, bro. Most of the it's time, when the humans was on a bullshit, fucking Kong come through and start throwing shit at them, yeah. so that we wasn't distracted. <laughs> they was forcing. They was forcing, bro. Look, I love that movie at the end of the day. That shit was heat. Yeah, the human parts though, bro, they gotta come up with some better jokes. Yeah, them. Like, who writes that shit? Oh yeah, that white dude with the glasses is the worst. <laughs> yeah, he the was one making some tr- the funny? some trash joke yeah. every fucking five seconds. Hey, get that shit out of here, bro. Y'all want to talk about that new Avengers game? Yeah, we can. Uh, it looks bad. Well, it doesn't look good. Hell no, how it look bad? It look the dope. characters. The characters don't. The look character good models don't look great, but everything else does. That shit it's looks all, it's all right. How much time hey, you gonna what? spend looking at the character model? As long as it fucking can Bro, fly. what looks bad about it? Tell me. Just the characters. Okay, who cares? And then there's the MC. It's MCU based. No, it's not. Look at the Who's Fantastic a- Four are in it. It's it's an Avengers game. Hank Pym is in it. It's an Avengers game. So it's yeah. not MCU based. They I mean, haven't. MCU- been- no, I'm saying the character lineup. Is that not MCU based? They don't even look like the MCU. Nigga, that's a I didn't say they look movie. like it, but guess what? It is MCU based from the roster. No, that's like the five besides like oh, Ant Man and the original, Wasp. Exactly. Yeah, yeah besides Ant Man and Wasp, movie? that's the Did original. They found one, more, one more character? No, who? Hawkeye. Why nobody give a fuck about Hawkeye? Man, get I the, do. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Did you see what they said that they're, uh, they saw the criticism about the looks and they're not changing it? Hey, yeah. I, I salute that. The only one who really looked bad was fucking Captain America. He did look bad. Nah. He looked like he was wearing a very full suit looked kind of wonky. No, no. Oh, I fucked Hell with that. Yeah. Captain like, America looked I like, bad. I was like, bro, why does Dog, suit Captain look America looked like he was one of them fake Batmans off of The Dark Knight. All right, right bro, they relax. Him off quick. It's good. What? They killed him off. Who? Captain America. Yeah, he dies at the he beginning of the game. The Ooh, hopefully that means we get nigga America. I'll fuck with that. What the? A coon? Wow, bro, fucking racist. Bro, it's a, look, real number nice. one, I think you only gonna be paying for cosmetics. They oh, no, yeah, they said all the, like, expansions and everything is free. Hey, new heroes, free. Oh, I'm still gonna get it. New heroes, free. free. That shit look good, bro. When it was, like, behind the back, even though you didn't really see shit, it looked good. Were they getting on with some gameplay? Huh? Come yeah. on. Oh, I don't saw the trailer. The trailer had a little bit of gameplay. No, gameplay. Still, still was oh, you know, they show some gameplay. <laughs> Whenever it was them flying from the back, that was supposed to be gameplay. Yeah, that looked heat. The but yeah, no, nah, I'm excited. Right? We ain't had a game like this in a long time, so. Bro, it was literally like Destiny, kind of. <laughs> nah, because look. Des- well, no, I wouldn't have mind if it was like Ultimate Alliance, to be honest. But we don't need nothing. Yeah, they oh, got- they... But they got an Ultimate Alliance 3 out. Why that, that yeah, that game, but it's only for Switch. That game looked fire for the Dang. Switch. They Guess got some Black we can't Order. Play it. Hey, it's a Switch game. You got that cocky. I want three. I want three on this system. Bro, go buy it. Yeah. Yeah. A buy Switch? a Switch. Buy a Switch, bro. Buy no, it. Switch is trash. We don't need another Ultimate with Marvel Three. I mean, Ultimate. Yeah, Ultimate. Why Marvel don't we need it, Shaq? Because we already got like, one out already. Yeah, for a whole one system. Then they had, then they had a, a a massive multiplayer online game of it, and that shit is fucking down. Where is it at, Shaq? I'm talking Just about for PS4. They had. They. I'm saying they had a. I'm talking about Marvel Omega. Yeah. They shut that shit down. That was like an Ultimate Alliance 3, nigga. But guess what? 
It wasn't Ultimate Alliance 3. Hey, I'm on Ultimate Alliance that 3. That shit got shut down. That game looked fun as fuck. But uh, let's let's keep this going. Um, <laughs> favorite Keanu Reeves movie? Uh, John Wick 1. Trash. The best John Wick movie is Bill and Ted's Sex and Adventure. The best John Wick movie? That's the best John Wick movie? Yes. For John Wick was in his bag, bro. Matrix one. You said the Matrix? That's not bad. Yeah, no. That's Matrix 3. That's like top three. I mean, not Matrix D. Matrix 1? That's top one. I just watched that on Netflix again, too. That show was heat. Damn, that show was good. Chase said he doesn't like the Matrix movies because there's no black women. I did not say that. You know that too. Oh, yeah, Jada Pinkett was in those movies. Yeah, that, okay, now I don't like him. You don't like Jada Pinkett? I'm just messing with you. I don't. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> but she's fucking awful at acting. She so got a big ass head. He be acting straight, but he be bad at it, bro. <laughs> I'm bad? Bro, you are gay. <laughs> I said, did I say that? He wanted to hear that. He wanted to hear that. No, I said he's bad at it. Oh, yeah, so we might be getting a Sonic fighting game. A who? What you think it, Shaq? There's already a Sonic fighting game. What? We getting another one? What other, What Sonic fighting Sonic game? Sonic Fighters? Huh? Is that a real game? <laughs> yeah. That's all, I got it on PS now. No. <laughs> Nigga, that shit's like Tekken. That's Sonic Tekken. Nigga. Oh, is it like Pokemon? No, nah, it's like Sonic Tekken. Wait, yeah. what's it called? Sonic Fighters? Yeah. Well, they said Sega. It's like, the old, it's like the old version of them. Bro, they said Is it Sega called Sonic the Fighters. No, Sonic, it's just Sonic Fighters. Bro, they said Sega wants to take on a new Sonic challenge for the franchise's anniversary, and they want to make something that maybe they could use for esports. So people are thinking we gonna get a Sonic Is it this fighting game? game, like yeah. Dragon Ball. Sonic the Fighters. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Like Dragon Ball Fighters. But it will be Sonic here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that should be fire. That'd be fun as fuck. Nigga. I told you, I hey silver. Nah, if they made a Sonic game, but it was like Marvel vs. Yeah. Capcom. Yeah, right. That'd be some heat. I'm not gonna lie, I buy it. Like the, Shadow, the best Sonic fighting games one? ever. Hey, Shadow, um, Shadow, was the name, bro. Hey, Shadow, yeah, Shadow, my name, bro. Hey, Shadow was black. I think we call it mid. Nigga be beefing with the cops, fucking hoes, <laughs> cussing. Oh, that boy Rude. I mean, that girl Rude. He said, "What the hell's wrong with you?" <laughs> oh, don't forget his classic one. Disgusting black creatures. Get out of my <laughs> sight. Exactly. <laughs> but uh y'all wanna talk about the Doctor Sleep trailer? What is that? The sequel to Shining. What? That's weird. I'll watch it though. But it's I mean It's like you know the kid that had the Shining? He grew up basically and there's another kid with the Shining. So. Oh yeah, you know the people from the It movies have the Shine? Yep. Yeah. And that the the movie, I mean the setting is in a Gary. Mmm. Gary. Gary! Wow. I think that might be it for the podcast. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, do you want to talk about your porn convention you went to, bro? Man, look. There's a porn convention in uh, Dallas? Well, what? there was one, but they sued it. Like, the city of Dallas sued it, but it's costing them a lot of money for that lawsuit. Hey, money, bro. Hey, come, come hey, on. Hey, what's the option to say? Hey, go on me in Dollars this day. Hey, you telling me if I'll yeah, get that quick talk. Hey, nigga. Hey, Shaq, I, don't, don't, hey, Shaq, don't lie. All I'm Shaq, is, don't lie. You, you gonna wear drawers if you go there? <laughs> nigga, if I think Autumn Falls showing up, I'll probably, you know, slink yeah, on it. Wear or Johnny Sanders. Ah! What? For Kane, for Kane. Oh, oh. Okay. No, he might want his autograph. You know, that's my friend. But, uh. I'm trying to give me some treatment. That boy's some Hey, what if you see, uh. What if you see Sarah J, Shaq, what you gonna do? Hell no. <laughs> hey, I'm mounting it like a horse. Hey, you didn't hear me? What you say? I said, I'm mounting it like a horse. All right, bro, you disgusting. Sarah J ugly. Her hair nose is like this. Bro, <laughs> shit. This nigga said she look like Dumbo. I was like, wow, <laughs> that is very rude. <laughs> hey, she made some money, though. Bro, I don't know how to, bro. Who the fuck, like, bro? How to point, bro? Nah, I know some niggas. I know some niggas who, I know some niggas who swear by Sarah J. Yeah, 
They'd be like, bro, you just gotta get past her face. I'm like, no, I can. Nigga, you, there's a lot of other porn. That's business like that nigga buying. Business. That's like buying a car and being like, hey, you gotta get past the engine being fucked up. <laughs> like it, it's still drive. No, 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 because that's like just the, the car well, being ugly. Like, it's was still drive. Old. Hold on, bro. Sarah J was looking already super old. Uh, Shaq. You forget she's white, so she's always gonna look. I old. know, but nigga, when I was in motherfucking tenth grade, she was looking old as shit. She looks about the same. She just looks like she's aged. She looks like Madam Web. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Jay, get her out of here, bro. I don't know how, nigga, bro. Who the fuck pays for her OnlyFans money? You're like, come on, bro. <sighs> oh, I do, uh, to be exact. But okay, yeah, moving yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, best memory with your father, if you have one. Oh, hey, because it was Father's Day. If y'all want to, Happy you know, Father's Day. Quick little anecdote, you and your pops. I can't even spell that word. Tevin was left for you. They would have tell a story of me and him. So, you know. Yeah, because Tevin's his father. No, because I'm his father. But anyway, moving on because I'm your uncle, bro. So respect <laughs> me. Hey, I looked, I looked at him. this bitch. <laughs> hey, look at that chin. Look at that chin. Uh. Chase, Shaggy. you have one? Hey, look, uh, this look, the mask. <laughs> shit, just, just, being, just being with my dad when I was younger, we used to drive to Houston uh, to come see me when I was living with my mom. It's oh, in Sugar Lane? <sighs> That's it for my memory. You and Tevin? Bro, please stop being a fag. Anyway, my best memory with my dad is probably I had like got a, this uh, treatment, you know, when I was sick. And we was coming home, and my mom was always trying to make sure I ate healthy because I was taking, like, a lot of medicine and stuff. And But it was just me and my dad at that time, which he never took me because he was always working, working at a hospital. Anyway, so he was like, I was, like, falling asleep because I was so tired from the medicine. This nigga was like, hey, you hungry? You want to eat something bad real quick? I was like, yeah. Nigga took me to Yang Sing. Well, I don't know if y'all, Yang Sing, it's like a buffet. It's like a Chinese buffet restaurant. But that shit used to be fire back in the day. Nigga, I fucking, I have been eating fucking nothing but like shakes and shit. Nigga, I fucking ate that shit down. Nigga took me home. I fell asleep. It's probably the best sleep I had in a long ass time. So, you know, shout out my pops. Hey, Shaq, you want to tell a story? That's a real nigga. I don't really got no stories, but I want to do say something. Hey, listen, bro. Every, every moment that I spend with my pops is always the greatest moment to me. That's all I can say, bro. I hey, say, that's dope. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, man. Especially the ones and that And the ended. single mothers, right, guys? And single mothers, man. They had their own day. So no, I just wanted to Father's real day. quick get y'all Father's thoughts. Day. I hate uh, that. Did y'all see 50 Cent's video? No. Was it something disrespectful? But he was talking about how niggas on, like, fathers get a text. And, and, and they, and they day, like, when they do Father's Day commercials about, like, tools and shit. Yeah. The one is about the mamas. They get goddamn uh, Zell, Jury... All this other shit. <laughs> oh yeah, this He's nigga. Like, Man, we this, this one dad, he was like, for Mother's Day, all the restaurants be packed up, but for Father's Day, I gotta do a barbecue. Fuck <laughs> yo. <laughs> but wait, check. I have a question for you, real quick. Is this facts? This nigga said, y'all think this is the last thing for the podcast? You know, before we go. Yeah. This nigga said, y'all think there's a royal record for the longest piece of shit? And this nigga said, yeah, I think it's called Naruto. <laughs> Yo, the One Piece and Naruto fans beef on Twitter be funny. Because I, I don't really agree with either of them, but them niggas be going in. I guess that's it for the podcast, guy. I just like to say, I just like to say, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all the fathers. Hey, Jorge Jr., I'll come see you soon, buddy. Alright, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to say before you before we left off? No, no, because you was talking about the longest shits. Nigga, I walked into uh, the fucking uh, Walmart bathroom, room, right? So, nigga, I, I was like, man, it looked like somebody just used this one. The first off, nigga, I peeked into the second saw, bro, I seen this shit hanging, <laughs> hanging out that motherfucking... Bro, you talking about the bathroom in the front? No, I'm talking about the one in the back. Oh, I was going to say, some nigga shit on the wall in the <laughs> one in the front. <laughs> I walked hey, in. There was shit on the stall wall. I was like, Bro. all right, dog. <laughs> I don't know what BP. Oh, hey, y'all know that one nigga that work in the uh, uh, grocery back room? The the the, the nigga, the old nigga with the hair. Uh, Steven. Yeah, bro. Every, okay, For some reason he always in the bathroom. Wait, is the podcast still on? Yes. 
Hey, for some reason he. I know you want to tell a super funny story. Hey, for some reason he's always there when I go, bro. Every time he's sitting next to me in the stall, this nigga's burping like uncontrollable. Yeah, he. Oh, yeah. Yo, I'm like, 